Cristiano Jr. is dating behind his father's back. But hey, keep your voice down. I'm sure he doesn't want his father to know that. Yet. Yeah. The thing is, ever since Cristiano Jr. was born in 2010, his father has never really given him the chance to do what he wants, however he wants it. Cristiano Jr. can't have access to an iPhone. Ronaldo even scolded him when he noticed Cristiano Jr. was taking junk food and Coca-Cola. Ronaldo will not just cut the kids some slack. Well, I won't blame Ronaldo for being a watchful and careful father. He barely had anyone to do those for him while he was growing up. His father was a total mess. He spent the little he made from his job as a gardener on alcohol and didn't even plan a future for his son. Well, well, Ronaldo is where he is today already, with over 850 goals to his name for club and country. Five Ballon d'Ors, five Champions League titles, three UEFA Super Cup titles, three English Premier League titles, two La Liga titles, two Italian Serie A titles, among several others. I guess that's more than enough to call him successful. But even with that level of success and loads of cash in his vaults, one thing has always been Ronaldo's greatest fear. He does not want to fail as a father. Ronaldo loves his children so much and wants the absolute best for them. But come to think of it, he has all the money and can afford to sponsor his kids to any level they desire in any career of their choice. What more is expected of a good father? One thing you might not know is this. The baggage that came with Ronaldo's fame and stardom is quite much and a large percentage are women. He had quite a lot of them to deal with, plus a good number of dramas, many of which he is trying to save his son from. Before Ronaldo became a superstar, he barely had friends. Well, maybe one or two, but the moment he got into one of the biggest clubs in England, the friends came from nowhere, and a lot of girls suddenly wanted to be around him. He didn't give a lot of them that chance, and for the few ones he allowed, he had different forms of stories to tell. To start with, Ronaldo had what seems to be his first publicly known involvement with a woman in 2007. It was with a British model, Gemma Atkinson. After their relationship hit the rocks, Atkinson disclosed that she received numerous lucrative offers to discuss the personal details of the Portuguese superstar, but refused to do it. A year later, Ronaldo started a relationship with a Spanish model, Nerida Gallardo. They met in a club in Mallorca. And even though it seemed she was going to become Mrs. Cristiano at that time, their relationship soon ended after just a few months. Haven't you ever wondered who the mother of Cristiano Jr. is? Well, Ronaldo kept that a secret from the world and his son until further notice. In 2009, Ronaldo reportedly had a one-night stand with an American waitress in the US. And according to one of his friends, it was just yet another one-night stand. And Ronnie assumed he would never see her again. But that was not the case, because a few months later, Ronaldo received a call. Hey Ronnie, I'm pregnant. Whoosh, that was a shocker. The child was born in June 2010, but Ronaldo decided to keep exclusive custody of Cristiano Jr. and paid the lady $12 million just to keep her identity secret forever. No one knows why Ronaldo decided to do that, but that event definitely did not stop Ronaldo from seeing women. Ronaldo did have another woman's saga in 2009, and this time, it was a rape case that almost sent him to jail and ended his just flourishing career. He allegedly had a thing with American woman, Catherine Mayorga, who claimed there was no consent in their sexual engagement. Ronaldo was able to get out of that one by paying the lady off with $375,000. In 2010, Ronaldo started dating a Russian model, Irina Sheikh. Ronaldo reportedly flew to New York in 2011 to propose to her. They were together for five years before things stopped working between them, and they both went their separate ways. Then, in 2016, Ronaldo met an Argentinian-born supermodel, Georgina Rodriguez, who later became his girlfriend and the mother to his other children. It seems Ronaldo plans on keeping this one. Their love is on fire. With Ronaldo's history with women, I'm sure you know he does not want his son to go through the same thing. Ronaldo knows that having girls around him at a young age may be a huge distraction and may affect his career. He wasn't going to watch that happen. So if he denies him an iPhone and frowns at him eating junk and taking Coca-Cola, then do you think Ronaldo knows about his son's girlfriend? I guess not. Even Cristiano Jr. would not want his father to know about all that. Ronaldo would go crazy if he knew. Taking a good look at Cristiano Jr.'s life, I bet the kid has had quite a lot to face. I mean, he knows daddy loves him and all, but come to think of it, he does not even know who his birth mother is. 
Daddy won't let him take his junk food in peace. He sees the kids in training take pictures and chat other kids with their phones, but doesn't get to do the same because his father says no. That's quite much for a child of his age. Cristiano Jr. wanted to break free from Daddy's home. After all, in his head, I'm a big boy now. His first rescue plan was to get on social media. That's why one day, he sneaked out with a phone, and the first thing he did was get on our YouTube channel. He subscribed to it immediately, watched as many videos as he could, and liked them all. After that, he created an Instagram account with the handle MiniCristiano2010, and within 24 hours, he already had over 1 million followers. It seemed the world had been so hungry to see this chap on the online space. I wonder how many years it'll take me to have that kind of followership. Cristiano Jr. was looking at surpassing his father's Instagram followership in a few years. But all that dream got cut short because when Ronaldo got to know about his son's Instagram account, he became furious and took it down immediately. Maybe if Ronaldo had not found out about that Instagram account, it would still be active to date. And that is why Cristiano Jr. made sure that his father did not find out about his secret girlfriend. He kept that secret all to himself. But Jr., are you sure your father is not going to suspect something's fishy if he sees this picture of you and this girl? <clears throat> well, Ronaldo may just see that as an innocent picture of a fan with his son, or maybe just a friend. They actually look so cute together. But really, that picture is not enough to establish any fact. Anyway, Cristiano Jr.'s adoptive mother, Georgina Rodriguez, might have a different opinion. Georgina and Cristiano Jr. are quite close. She even mentioned in her already released Netflix documentary, I Am Georgina, that she appreciates how Cristiano Jr. opens up to her and tells her all about the little things that happen in his life. That's a good mother and son bond. I know, right? I do not find their closeness strange because Georgina has been a mother to Cristiano Jr. ever since he was a kid. And pictures of them both and the other kids going around fun places and vacations are flying around the internet. In that documentary, Georgina mentioned something striking that almost blew Cristiano Jr.'s cover. I think it's funny that Jr. has a girlfriend. I already told him that I have to meet her and give him my approval, even if I'm not a very authoritarian mother. Whoosh! So Georgina does know about the whole thing. Cristiano Jr. should just keep hoping that Georgina does not tell his father about it until Ronaldo is ready to give him permission to have a girlfriend. Ronaldo's success is admirable, but at the same time, he had dirty little secrets he did not want the world to know, especially about his children. Click this video to see how Ronaldo exposed what he has been hiding about his kids.